Greetings, Dovahkiin, and welcome back. So this episode, we're going to dive headlong into the Dark Brotherhood and maybe complete a few miscellaneous quests around Fall Creek and whatnot. Look at Boda. Doesn't he look good in his new clothing? Yeah, his gear looks awesome. All right, so we've already looked at all everything that's up here, so let's head down. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Okay. <laughs> again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? <laughs> oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always <laughs> mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit? Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> I'm gonna see what not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. Oh dear. <laughs> Whispering Fang style sounds pretty cool. Alright, so let's uh, get to know everybody. Hey, Festus. Oh, they're still busy. Hey, there's a shout over here. Let's go and grab it. Leech marked for death. Cool. Alright, so this is a guy that I think we need to talk to for jobs. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. It is I. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Will we be chatting with these guys? Yeah, might as well. Let's drop the facade of silence. It's a pleasure to meet you, my man. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. Makes sense. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Alrighty. Astrid said you have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available. To be completed at your leisure. I like the sound of that. Sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Alright, sounds good. Okay, so we could train in light armor with them. Okay, I'm ready for the first of the contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Alright, cool. So we got three. Right off the bat. Killed Narfi. Alright, so tell me about Narfi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. <laughs> oh, I see my repetition as I reach the, the Dark Brotherhood. Tell me about E. Nodius. He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. 
And he's right. <laughs> and Batilde. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Batilde's angry and desperate. A fighter. <laughs> I've got poison ready for everyone. And what can you tell me about yourself, Nazir? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I, I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Excellent. Good luck. And Thanks, try not to get yourself killed. Good to meet you. I'm not going to talk to everyone right away. I'm going to try to trickle, uh, trickle it in as I go. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. I didn't see you sitting there, buddy. I don't want to talk to him, Jisha. I want to talk to Babette because she is the best alchemist teacher. I just don't know where she is. Let's find her. This guy's a werewolf. I remember that. Oh, Babette, where are you? And this guy we need to talk to. What is this? These old eyes can barely see. But I can always sense the presence of brethren of the Brotherhood. Who are you? Ah, no one of any consequence any longer. My name is Gregor. Gregor. I was once a vital young assassin of the Dark Brotherhood. Like yourself. Answering the call of Sithis. <laughs> oh dear, oh my. <sighs> now I spend my days and nights here. Awaiting my eternal embrace from the Night Mother. I do have one final piece of knowledge left to impart. If you would bear it, it brings with it great power and a great curse. Hmm. I would hear more. I have been the keeper of a relic known as the Hand of Glory for the better part of my late life. And what is the Hand of Glory? The Hand of Glory is a dark relic, sought by all thieves and assassins who know of its name. <coughs> the Hand is much what it sounds like. A severed hand, cleaved from the body of a wrongfully hung man. The Hand itself possesses a great curse. A curse, you say? The will of the Hanged Man imposes itself on the Hand to grasp futilely for revenge for his missed death. And why would I want a cursed hand that is trying to kill me? The idle hand is given a task to bear the light of another soul wrongfully committed to death. This light comes by way of a candle, itself formed from the remains of one wrongfully condemned. So long as the hand has the candle to bear, <coughs> Its powers will give the holder great boons and not seek to demise the bearer. Okay, and what would I gain from it? Any who have crafted and bear the hand of glory from the hanged man's hand will be rendered invisible as well as become a master of the arts of finesse. And light shall ever be cast upon their path. However, powers are draining and tax the holder's vitality, magic, and well-being. And if the candle ever burns out entirely... <laughs> Good God, man. The bearer of the Hand of Glory will perish along with the flame, and their soul lost to oblivion. So it sounds like uh, you get invisibility, night eye, and really good pickpocketing? And lockpicking, maybe? I don't know. Seems like a great risk to the me. The boon is no mere small enchantment, my friend. Your skills of Ledger Demian and Skullduggery would make the legendary Grey Fox's skill look like that of an infant guar. 
Well, that does sound amazing, so why give it up? The fire of my candle is nearly gone. And I must pass the hand for another to bear, if I am to be taken into the Night Mother's internal embrace. Were you to take this burden, I would not say to do so lightly. And in crafting the Hand of Glory, use it sparingly, if at all. I would take up the Hand of Glory to free you from it. Such a noble gesture. The Hand itself is well hidden. When it became apparent that the flame was soon to die, I hid away within a cavern. To resist the temptation to use it further. Though its curse already weighed heavy on me, I could not bear to part with it before then. So where is it? The hand resides within the glacial cave on the Isle of Solsheim, far away from the reach of any temptation. Go there and obtain it. After you have done so, you must collect the essence from the corpse of an individual who has been executed. Their essence. Uh, <coughs> uh, <laughs> their fat. To craft the candle. <laughs> Gross. The nature of the crime should be anything but black and white. Anything disputed or questionable will fuel the flame. With this civil war underway, there should be ample possibilities. Once you have the two items, return to me. And I shall instruct you further. Alright, the Hand of Glory. The reason we're, why we're grabbing this quest now is that if you've uh, progressed too far into Dark Brotherhood, you will lose this quest. And that hand is an item to be displayed in the museum. So we're going to take a quick peek. I know there is some kind of mod that's affecting Dark Brotherhood. I think it expands it in a lot of ways. I don't know if it actually expands the... Hideout itself. So I'm just taking a quick peek. I'm also trying to find Babette. How much gold do I have? <laughs> I've got 93,000 gold. I'm rich. Okay. A stone bed. Who sleeps on the stone bed? It's probably Babette's bed. All right. It's a black soldier. Ooh, shredded amulet. I already have one. We have a pet spider. Okay. Gabriella. Eventually she gives us something. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. That's really mean. No, it's nice to meet you too, Gabriella. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. And what is. What can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined, yet simple tastes. I can appreciate that. Can I talk to you about something, sister? Already? I always have time for my fellow assassins. Speak. And the quality of voice changed, so this is probably part of that mod I told you about. Can you tell me about the Black Door? A mage like you must know all about it. The Black Door has been standing longer than any of us remembers. Its voice is bound by Sithis and resonates from within the void itself. It's that synth thing that's been going around Nexus mods lately where it could approximate uh, the NPC's voice pretty closely. Not bad. Sounds a little robotic, but not bad. And who sets the password? Who commands it? Long ago, when we still followed the old ways, each sanctuary would have a speaker and a matron. The matron is not a part of the Black Hand, but is responsible for the state of the sanctuary. Interesting. Just like Astrid, right? Yes, sort of. But she has much more power than a simple matron would. However, one example of the rare back steps, though, is the door. I see. She cannot change the question. It's been our annoyance for quite a while now. 
you guessed right. The music of life, the silence, my brother, is very old. Dangerously old. Yes, yeah, so I see how an old password is a security issue. Sad that it cannot be fixed. Mm, now that you are here, though, there might be a way. Tell you what, assassin. Do you want to advance your friendship with me? Uh, why do I feel like that this involves me getting you something? Your skills of deduction don't fail to owe me. All right, tell me what you want. <laughs> what do you have in mind? During my college years, I had a set of artist tools that were dear to me. However, they were confiscated from me before I left that bloody rat hole. So the college you went to hold. But I'm standing in the presence of the Archmage himself, aren't I? So I'd kindly ask you to retrieve my tools. Okay, so she acknowledges my accomplishments with the college. And what am I looking for exactly? A set of handmade instruments of art signed with my name on the back. They probably hid it with the other forbidden pieces of magical equipment. All right, sister, I'll find your stolen tools. If you do, I won't know how to thank you enough. Wow, I could really chatter up, huh? All right, to be honest, I didn't take you for an artist at first impression. Surprised? Art can take many forms, and artists hold many secrets. As I'm sure I too still hold many for you, assassin. Okay, I was thinking, and I'd like to become an artist at my profession, too. The will to improve oneself is a trait I most respect. Can you tell me how? You don't learn about something by talking about it. But I can show it to my apprentice. Okay. Um, okay, I'd love to learn from you. Maybe one day, brother. All right, I'm done talking. Oh, there's Babette. How you doing? There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh, I love that one. I see, I will kill anyone who stands in my way. Anyone. That's not something you should say. Nice to meet you, Babette. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun. And we look out for each other, just like any family. Okay. And this is where I could learn alchemy. I heard that another vampire can turn you by a bite. Yes, you heard correctly. I was wondering if you could... I don't want to turn into a vampire. Um, are you, are you sure? All right, let me let me think on that a bit. Fine. <laughs> Maybe after the dawn guard. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. Just like Claudia, an interview with a vampire. Uh, okay. She, uh, oh, she has uh. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I do have a lot of. Oh, she has a potent poison of paralysis. And yeah, I lost my uh, my paralysis potion again. <laughs> All right, I do want to sell, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, and she can train us in alchemy. Let's do it a little bit. It's as rewarding as it is dangerous. Let's see what I can show you. Whoo, two thousand three hundred per. Let's just, let's just get to eighty. Look how quickly this cost racks up. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell. Okay, so I got a good bit of my gold back, I guess, but yeah. I need to go through another well, enchanting session. Alright, so, we've got some things to do. And the, and the first thing I want to do is head to Soul's Time and get that Hand of Glory. I want to get that out of the way. I don't want anyone to think about it. So let's go. So we're off to uh, Winterhold, our Windhelm, to catch a boat. If I could figure out how to get out of here. Hey, it's Lily. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I've got this thing I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands Here's only. Uh, let's see. There's a new lady in charge at the orphanage in Rifton. I'm handing out these flyers to everybody I meet. Looks like that's all. I have to leave. All right, Lily. Thank you. Let's see this letter real quick. Consider adoption. In these days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims. Many have no one left to turn to and face a life of hard labor, poverty, and misery. If you could provide a stable home from, for one of these innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt from us or take in someone closer to their home, you can make a difference in a child's life. For more information, acquire to Constance Michelle. Cool. Alright, guys. It's funny that Lily knew where I was in the Dark Brotherhood. We are getting wet. I know, let's go. Alright, so we're going to take a very quick trip to Solstein. Not something I'm going to explore very thoroughly this episode, because that's going to be 
totally encapsulated with uh, the Dragonborn DLC when we, uh, you know, pursue that. All right, so the carriage should be right over here. Hmm? <laughs> Staring at his carriage, wondering what you're doing with your life. Where do you want to go? All right, back in the cold north. Let's get to the docks. I'm gonna take the expressway, of course. <laughs> A comfortable long. Wee. I'm not gonna make it. Hey, come on. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Oh. Okay, so you don't need the breadcrumb that, uh, to lead you to the Soulstorm. You can go there at any time, I think. So let's talk to the Capitan. I'm not sure who it is. Maybe it's him. Captain Gallon does the business around here. Oh, I'm this guy. If you're looking for passage to Soulstorm, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. Cool. How much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. And why sell, sell there at all? They still pay me for supplies and passage. And I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? I am, indeed. Um, <clears throat> you've got yourself a ship. But we'll cast off immediately. It's like he's having a second thought. <laughs> When's the last time you guys been to Solstheim? Messing with mods and stuff, I never get this far. Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven Rock. Raven Rock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. Very cool. And of course, it makes you think of the Blood Moon expansion in Morrowind, where you establish Raven Rock. Pretty cool. That was very strange. Okay. You guys okay? Seasick? There's Lydia. There she is. All right, let's go. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Raven Rock, Outlander. State your intentions. To recover a severed hand. None of your business. That's the kind of attitude that's going to land you in prison. But I'll let it go for now. Just remember, <laughs> Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redera. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? No, but you have a very, <laughs> very weak-ass immigration policy. Why are you so sus suspicious of visitors? Raven Rock is purely a Dunmer settlement? Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. But the Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles. But when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. This music, man, such nostalgia. And why are you suspicious of visitors? I have to be. As second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Has security been an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here, and we've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. And yet you let my response of none of your business go by. Okay, what, do you, what does your title mean? Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Okay, and what is the city of Bla Blacklight? How can you have done my blood in your veins and have no knowledge of Blacklight? It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. Oh, really? I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. I did know that. The Argonians invaded Morrowind, oh my god. Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. 
An attempt at expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Many more were exiled from their homeland. Yeah, I forgot about the slave culture in uh, Morrowind. Well met, Adril. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay, last, Lydia. Yes. All right, let's go. I have the supplies you requested. But uh, I would love to just explore this town inside and out, but yeah, we gotta save that for Dragonborn, guys. And let me go ahead and mark, mark this quest. That one and this one. And uh, let's just double check here. That's right there. Locate the hangman's hand. That's all the way north. We here. And to get there, we gotta actually tra traverse this road. Okay. Yeah, I've done this quest before in the past. But we get a nice little tour of uh, Solstheim real quick. Wow, look at this place. Ashams. I wonder if my followers are going to get involved. I just want to run by. Ah, we can't leave him like this. Alright, let's help him out, guys. Kill the ash bomb. My badass bow. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. He gives a quest that we're not gonna do, but I'm, I'm afraid I'll like lose him Thanks. or something. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. You know what? I am not gonna get that quest. I think he does hang out here. Probably essential too. We probably didn't even have to help him. Ash salts, quicksilver ore. Declaration of war. Raven Rock Stronghold, my calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and immediate cessation of all hostilities have been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Soul's time is hostile and to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. Okay, then. Uh, being such a flippity gibbet, maybe I should get this quest. Thanks. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. If there is snow uh, what were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. And how'd that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. All right, I'd be glad to lend you a hand for a price. Hmm, I think I could talk the counselor into paying you, and I could use an extra pair of hands. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind, and I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Very well, where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. I will definitely do that. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. And many a ten day or so later. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I cannot wait to start Dragonborn, man. I haven't saved in a long time. I better save. Look, there's the Red Mountain. Right there on the horizon. Uh, 6 p.m. Giant Grasshopper, that would freak me out in real life. So ashy. Everybody needs lotion. Oh, look at their little niche. Oh, look at the little guy. <laughs> so cool. I'm not going to kill that. Are you insane? They are too cool. Make sure I'm going the right way. I uh, kind of want to play Morrowind again. There's a sky shark. Time to kill. Oh yeah. Dang, I should be soul trapping. Ah. It only just occurred to me to do it now. Ash hopper jelly. <laughs> Let's leave it. 
heard a voice. Is he singing? I can't get them out. They're in my head. They're in my head. Catchy tune. They're in my head. Alright. We are here on a singular mission, guys. Get the severed hand. Oh, pretty empty so far. And I got aggro. Soul trap. Another one. Should you start trying now? How many bad guys are there? Okay. And there's even more. It's like a baddie cap. Get him! Get him! He's level 50. He's trapped by a rock. Oh, Pretty tough. So trap. Level sixty-two. Get out of our Got a badass here. All right. Well, it couldn't be helped. Ancient Nord heroic stuff. Stormfang. Nice. There's a display for that. And we could actually sleep here for the night, so that's good. Oh, the music! Oh my god, guys. I really like how this armor looks. Oh, there's a display for this. Interesting. Alright, so a whole new sort of loot table going on. Alright. What is on your mind? Uh, I did. Oh. Okay, then. Let me help you with that. Bandits are shooting arrows at us. Bandits are cowards. Yeah, we sure showed them. Still battle axe butchery. Deals 13 magic damage multiplied by 5 on the next hit after this kills a target. Not bad, not bad. What is that? Ah, son of a bitch, I stepped on something. Ugh. Heartstone deposit, we're not gonna mess with any of that. What's in the chest? Amulet of arcade. That's it. Alright, guys, let's sleep here for the night. Look at this morning. Uh-oh. Oh no, I forgot. Here I'd be on the first ship child. off this island if I had the coin. What a waste. That you have forgotten. Looking for any potions? Ingredients? Alchemical supplies? Ah, son of a bitch. I shouldn't have slept. Are the Ashians growing like you expected this season? They're incredible. I don't know how we ever got them to take Okay, so every time you sleep you get stuck over here. Well, we have. Where are we? <laughs> no! Alright, I'm gonna cut back to when we're over here. To do something. What faith was more than this is Raven Rock, eh? Is horrid. Mm. All that much to look at. Well, if we keep having harvests like this. Lydia, we've got other we'll things to worry to about. One again. No time for sightseeing. How is it even possible to live like this? Savages. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, and we're back. Oh, okay, we're not going to mess with this because this ties into, like, a quest. Yeah. I feel like this is like a time travel movie where if you mess with the wrong thing at the wrong time, you could alter history. All right, so we're just going to cut up. Go ahead and save. Okay. Oops. It's actually on the northern coast. Oh, well, let's see if we can get through here without too much 
interference. I have, a, I have a feeling we're gonna have to kill some stuff along the way. So many points of interest that I want to go explore, but no. So we gotta kill some folks. Wake up, Lydia. We have to play. I will turn. I'm just here busy looting. I really good potions. Now I'm bad pawn to get lost, friend. That's all you've got? Is that it? Alright. Bone mold, we're gonna go ahead and grab it. Alright, I don't have that shield. Right, let's go. Okay, so these guys don't seem to be messing with us, so we're gonna leave them alone. Far from ourselves. Just passing through. Don't mind us, Stepler Mirak. Okay. Uh, I should have cut across that way, huh? All right, we took a wrong turn. Got distracted by those guys that attacked us. All right, let's go. Our eyes once were blinded. This is the way. Oh, the music, man. Oh, goosebumps all over my body. There's a cave that we're not going to explore. Ultra Throned. Got another location up top. Lydia is following me, right? Yeah, there she is. Oh, no. It was like a trap. In the room, we are all dead. Yes. Uh, Reichlings. Oh, look, it's a rainbow. Make a wish. Sounds like Star Wars Ewoks. Soul trap. Where is everybody? Where's my people? Lydia, help me! I feel like we're killing Ewoks. Okay, so... Yeah. Looks like the nav mesh is a little screwy here. All right, we're just gonna keep moving then. All right, we actually need to through. We actually do need to pass through here. Where are you? They're over here, Lydia. Let me show you. Okay, can't cut through there. What the hell? Oh, we gotta go up and around. I don't actually want to mess with these guys right now. That's pretty cool. Are you? Oh no, you don't. Oh, one of these guys. They were such a pain in freaking Blood Moon. All right. Now we're making some headway. Now, when we get clear, I'm gonna summon Marisi and Inigo. Alone. 
Uh, that's a dragon over there. Hope he doesn't eat me in the sky. If we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight down here. He's coming for me, guys. He's coming for me. Freaking paraglider is awesome. What was that? Alright, I'm gonna call Muddy C and then I go. You can't hide from me. The dragon is right there. And this is our cave right here. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Well, let's leave the horkers alone. I'm gonna let my f followers do most of the damage. I just want to cast some soul traps. Work up my conjuration. And I guess we will loot up this dungeon because we're probably not gonna come back in here. To take a nap. Uh, now's not the time for that. I guarantee. Get him! Here's the hand. Got it. All right. Yeah, this is a tiny cave. Oh, Karstak skull. I'm gonna leave it. That'll give us a reason to come back. Little huts. Freaking cool. Alright, let's go. Alright, the question is, what is the next step of the quest? We need to find some fat. Look at the essence of the executed. Oh, yeah. Solitude. We know who that's going to be. Forgot the guy's name. The guy who opened the gate. Alright, guys. I'm just going to cut to me getting to Raven Rock. I'm not going to make you guys watch me trudge around trying to find uh, my way around the island. So, alright, see you in Raven Rock. Hey, who are you? I. Just a hunter outside of Raven Rock. And it looks like something else is going on out here. Is that the same guy fighting more ash spawn or whatever? I'll see you. You're doing good work. Keep up the good work. We're just gonna run by. Alright, let's catch your boat back to mainland Skyrim. Skyrim. Captain Gallon does the business around here. Seeking passage to Windhelm? My ship's ready to sail. Right then. Let's be off. Woo! Thousand gold round trip. Thought that was a vampire for a second. Blasted music. Alright, so we should actually be able to use this uh, ferry uh, guy here. I can take you to any port on the coast. To take me to Solitude. Where are you to solitude. Ah, solitude. Best port in Skyrim. Ah, glorious afternoon in Skyrim. All right, let's go to the crypts in solitude and see about finding some fat. <laughs> so gross. And also, by the way, guys, remember the last episode when I was trying to display that uh, armor from Mordecai from uh, Conrad's accoutrements, and I was getting nothing. Yes, it was like invisible. Okay, Muddy C. Well, it turns out I was miss missing the meshes. I found those mesh meshes from the, um, I guess he had Dragborn Patches Hub. It was actually there. It's the display meshes that were missing, not the actual mes meshes of the Konrok's accoutrements. So, yeah. Okay. And it's not giving me a quest marker here. Oh, yeah, it is. The quest marker is here. And we need to talk to Brayling, Brayling about something. I guess we can do that. And then after all that, we are going to uh, 
take care of those targets. Spiced wine to warm the blood. Okay. So here's the crypt. And I'm actually gonna leave everyone yeah. out. What? Don't take too long. Lydia can wait out here. In you go, come here, buddy. All right, local sir. Hello. If there's trouble, come get me. All right. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I do not enjoy wait. Let me get our sneak on a little bit. Okay, so it's over there. I think there's undead in here. That's why I'm sneaking. The lighting in this dungeon looks good. This catacomb or whatever. And this is a great location for uh, hanging moss if you want it. Skeletons are dead. Did I kill the skeletons? Hmm. Oh, it's just right there. He's got Amulet Talos. Here's his essence. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and run around in here real quick. I don't hear any bones. Just want to make sure there isn't anything to loot in here. Just some loose septums and alchemy ingredients. Random thing here. I think you chain people to these things. I forgot what they're called. Some kind of post of sorts. Okay, it looks like... Hall of the Dead. Okay, this is a bit more elaborate than I remember, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave. We're not ready to dive into solitude content just yet. Well, I could have had my followers follow me after all. Yeah? Let's go. You like to keep her waiting, no? Let's hurry okay, up. Okay, where are we going now? Blue Palace. I think that's where Briling is right now. She could be home. Nope, oh, she's there. I can't help but loot these stupid bugs. I don't remember what this quest pertains with Ryling, but I guess we're about to find out. Are we turning in something? Are we progressing something? I don't remember. Well, she's up here. There she is. I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. Fair enough. Pactor asked me to deliver a message. Is everything all right? I've not heard from Sorley or Pactor in some time. Everything is fine. The shipment will be here soon. Is that concerning that Argonian um, person again? That's good news. I was starting to fear something had happened. You have my thanks. You're welcome. It's been an honor. Okay, I guess that's it. We're done. Hello, your Many condemn the Majesty, storm Highness, course, whatever. But I refuse. There is honor in fighting for what you believe. All right, so let's see. Figure out who we're gonna kill first. I guess there's no really efficient way to do this. We're just going to use carriages for for all of them. Alright, I guess we'll go to Dawnstar first then. Let's go, guys. We're still moving. We're still moving. I should take this opportunity to run to the safe house and enchant a bunch of stuff, but I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't feel like it right now. Next time we're in solitude, I'll do that. Because I want to continue working on my alchemy with uh, Bebet. I just don't like the idea of grinding that out with cooking and alchemy um, cooking and alchemy overhaul. It's a pain to level up uh, alchemy. It's just no fun. So I'd rather just train it up. Hmm. 
You ever hear the one about the Briton and the bear tamer? Okay, so we're killing one I'm of the mine owners. Friends. I have something for you. Aw, oh, ladies, give me something nice. What'd you get me? Leather! Okay, so this person is over he here. Contemplating her prettiness. Okay, but I see. Hmm, so obviously we can't kill her here. Let's uh, spend some time in the inn. Maybe she'll go home and we could get her when she's sleeping or something. Where's the inn? Oh, the inn's right there. Okay. And we'll park our followers here. No reason for them to come along. Good idea. You should take a break too. You deserve it. I will. We're just going to rest for a few hours. I think I'm going to rest in here for like five hours. Hi there. All right. Did she go to bed? Oh, looks like it. She's at home. Let's go get her. But you people running around. So this is her home. She's right next to the so-called um, museum. That's one brave bird. Oh. Uh, we're going to be merciful. <laughs> Quick death. Well, let's look at her place. And of course, we got a looter. Because you got Skull of Batil that you got to display in the museum, I know! The Hall of Secrets! <laughs> she won't need this gold. Okay. And I'm not seeing anything to display in the museum other than her head. Alright, easy to peasy. Let's go. Spend the rest of the night at the inn. And we'll head off to our next target. Actually, no. We wouldn't go at the dead of night. So let's go ahead and summon everybody. Okay, so let's go to... Our next target is outside of Windhelm. I remember where. It's not exactly inside Windhelm. It's like just down the road by the fair, um, Angus Mill here. Alright, and we'll take this... <laughs> no, the carriage driver's here. Go. Carriages to all the cities and a cold dark night for a cold dark deed. Right, let's go. I wonder if there's a more efficient way to level up conjuration other than just casting soul trap. Because it's in the 60s right now, so it's gonna take a while. It's gonna come to a point to where I don't want a soul trap anymore too. I may have to grind it out. Find a way to grind it out. East March, River York, Rim Border. A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. I don't want to chat anyway. So he should be... He's got like a little camp by the river. Yeah, up here. I know you could talk to them and... Why are you here? Get away from me! Let's see. Wow, we could be really dark. You were right to be paranoid. In Odeus. What? What do you mean? Oh, oh, no, no! <laughs> Mercy! Ah! Good night, In Odeus. So take a septum in his skull. Oh my god. Oh my god.
What was that? Oh. I wonder how fast that is, too. Love lopes. Soul trap. Mud crab is immune to soul trap. Okay. Let me look at that real quick. Oh, it's okay. Okay, so let's go back to Windhelm. Catch a ride to Iverstead. There might be a carriage out here close by. No, there isn't. Alright, back to Windhelm. Alright, off to Iverstead. Here we go. Got some mooses. Alright, I know exactly where this guy is. Yeah. I already got the ripped guard. Armor. He's in that house right there. Okay, so we're gonna kill this guy very quietly. So we don't get a bounty. Lydia will wake him up. Sounds like a bear. Hey, Nefri. <laughs> Goodbye, Nefri. And take your skull. Let's go, guys. I forgot to do that one quest for what's her name? Dark Brotherhood. Art of Blood, find and retrieve Gabriella's tools at the college. Oh, well, we weren't there anyway. We'll eventually get to it. Should go the right way, yeah. Yeah, this is the area of Skyrim that Bodo was living in before he saw Alduin uh, leave uh, Helgen. My little personal cannon. That I sort of overlaid on top of Boda. The super secret entrance. Guess my followers have to wait outside, huh? Alright, let's go turn these quests in and uh, maybe talk to a few more uh, uh, Dark Brotherhood members. But the Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Cicero. Don't you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero. I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Mm, a dagger. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood? Husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! This is so awesome. But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some Your business to discuss. Alright, do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. Nice. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. Alright. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. 
Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Not a very good way of uh, running a business, but okay. Talk to Muiri. Yes, mistress. You're the boss. For now. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Wait! Oh, wait! <gasps> I know you. Yes. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. <laughs> that was a long time ago. You're the man with the wagon transporting his mother. I am! I am! But not just my mother. Our mother. Hmm? The night mother. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you helped me. You helped poor Cicero. You talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. I did indeed. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. That's very cool. Why'd you come here? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home, here... This is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Oh, I see. Such was my honor as keeper. Okay, who's the Night Mother? Oh, what? <laughs> Who is He's the insulted. Night Mother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. I like this voice actor. You, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them in his honor. <laughs> what are the duties of the Keeper, Cicero? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it. Preserves it, keeps it safe. <laughs> Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. I see. And uh, tell me about Sithis. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. All those things. He is. The Void. Oof, and what can you say about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see. The Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... Happy. <laughs> Happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her say... Say what? The words. The words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the listener. What's the listener? Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday. Someday. And that's it. Cicero bids you no farewell. Can I have your dagger? Let's pray. He has an Emily dagger. She can't steal it. Cicero can talk for a moment. Just a moment. Then Mother must be tended to. And I can't recruit him as a follower yet. And he says to the man. Okay, let's go turn this stuff in. <laughs> I want to turn it into this one first, though. Oh, I love that one. Uh... Where is he? Oh yeah, he's up here. There he is. I hate to wake him up, man. 
Have you obtained the hand? Yep. I have returned with the hanged man's hand and the fat of an executed man. You have indeed. Do not give it to me. Its dark influence may make me wish to no longer part with it. Now, you must fashion the hand of glory. How do I do that? Create the candle from the fat and add three drops of your own blood to the setting wax. Ew. Once it is cooled, place the candle in the hanged man's hand, and the flame will ignite and forever remain lit, so long as you and the candle remain alive. You can use my cook pot there to make the candle. Ugh. So gross. All right, let's do it. Create the hand of glory. All right, I guess I got it. Alright, I've uh, remade the Hand of Glory. Yes. I can feel that the weight is lifting. Thank you, my friend. I do so wish you well, and good luck in bearing the Hand of Fate. I would ask but one more favor of you. I long for my eternal rest in the Night Mother's care. Were you to aid me in our oldest of traditions, I would be most grateful. The brethren have been told of my will, and they will not act against you. Very well, I shall send you to your eternal rest, my friend. <sighs> Thank you. I heard about what happened. Oh, okay, I guess he prefers to die in his sleep. During the thunderstorm? Soul trap! It's a <laughs> treachery. <laughs> Oh, I didn't have a dark uh, black soldier anyway. What's got on you? Yeah, I'll take your stuff. There. You don't need that stuff anymore, you rat bastard. simple matter, really. When one has mastered the. All right, so morning comes, never comes. So this is in my card. All right, let me talk to this guy. Hey, Yarn Bjorn. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Or maybe she has a favorite elsewhere, hmm? Any advice on my current contract? Yeah, follow my wife's orders. And don't do anything stupid. Define stupid. Where do you stand on Stormcloaks? I don't care. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. These guys don't have really a heart for tradition, do they? What can you tell me about yourself? Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but you're my wife dark trusts out. you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. <laughs> Kill well and so, often. You hate people that are annoying, or you hate personally annoying other people? Your wording's a little weird there. Oh, got to turn this in. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. I suppose not. Anyways, Belted is dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Thanks, buddy. Next, Narfi is dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. That was a quick death. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Gracias. And finally, a notice, Papias is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be... Quite nasty. You're you're hilarious, you're pal. For a job well done. Okay. I heard about what happened. Do you have any more contracts? Ah, I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Yeah, we gotta fix uh, Astrid's first. Something? Any advice on my current contract? The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. Such but this is different. The, the jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. 
Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. Okay. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. <laughs> As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Mm, not a resentment towards uh, Cicero anymore. You've got people to kill, Here. my friend. Best get to it. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, I'll take care of that thing for you. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's herald, to play some part in the beam's inevitable nah. end. Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. Okay. What will change not that the Night Mother is here? Very little. You have my word on that. The Night Mother represents a chapter in the Dark Brotherhood's history that has long since been closed. Today we live by our own rules. Mother? We're the last sanctuary in all of Tamriel. And only by foregoing the old ways have we survived for so long. My only worry is her keeper. I'm not sure what Cicero expects to gain by bringing the Night Mother here. But he'll soon learn this is my sanctuary. Interesting, interesting. Any advice on the contracts? Just be yourself. <laughs> Eliminate the targets any way you see fit. Quiet, loud, quick, slow. Whatever you feel is best. Occasionally, I'll give you a contract with certain parameters. Stay within them, and you'll earn yourself a bonus. Alrighty. You go speak with Muiri. I've got to deal with the Night Mother and her little clown. Alrighty then. But first, off to, uh... College of Winterhold. See if we can find that stuff or what's her name. There you are. Lily! I've been looking everywhere for Again? you. Again? I've got this thing I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Uh, let's see. I have this letter. It's for you. Looks like that's all. I have to leave. So someone named Ligelf sent me a letter. Let's see what this is about. All right, spam, go away. Boda, I know you killed her. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. In fact, I wanted to thank you. She will not be missed. Leg elf. Who did I kill? That's a woman. Oh, the miner. Oh, leg elf. I think that's her ex-husband. <laughs> oh, Lydia. Oh, Lydia, Lydia. Where's the kitties? There's one. Marisi, hello. Alright, we better summon her. Don't want her to get in trouble. This air is pure and clean. Oh, her head spins a little. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go. My carriage is the safest way to... Where do you want to go? What to hold, please? Climb and back and we'll be off. I think I keep forgetting to tell Morisi to follow. <laughs> Gotta keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could sit down yes. at any time. Alright, let's go. Oh, just a bit more. Alright, alright. Let's go. Let's go find this thing for what's her name? Something about tools. In like a confiscated hidden place or something. It is on the map, right? Yeah, it is good. Because this is a huge place, and I don't want to be looking for stuff. <laughs> Although we do need to find um, Toftier Zombie again. That was something I forgot a long time ago. Alright, let's see. Alright, so it's in the main area here. Looks like we're going down. I think. No, nope, we're going up. She will move fast in this, and it barely makes noise. Awesome. She likes it. Hey, mind the way. Okay. 
Okay, so it's in the Archmage quarters. His door is locked because I never received a key, I don't think. I guess I'm just gonna have to pick it. Alrighty then. Just in here. Alright, Gabriella's art tools, confiscated dangerous tools, a suspicious pearl. Alright, let's go. Alright, now let's go to Markarth and find Muri. And once again, the carriage driver's missing. Maybe this is him over here. Good afternoon. There he is. Okay, so we found out where he kind of sits and hangs out. Where do you out. want to go? Okay, it's sunset. Wow, how pretty is that? So, let's see if... We yeah, the alchemy shop is still heard. open. And if I remember correctly, it's this way. Careful of the molten metal. Oh no, she's right there. Kiss your fingers goodbye. She's leaving. I know what I'm doing. Stop telling me. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brother has come, Yuri. The Dark Brother. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. Elaine Dufont? I killed him, um... He was in a dormer dungeon. I don't think I actually got his skull. What? Elaine is... Is dead. I... I I'm grateful. I... It's just this... This isn't at all how I imagined things would play out. There was Elaine, but I was considering more, and... Oh, uh, well, dead is dead, right? It helps them accept My thanks to you, assassin. Here's the gold I was going to pay for the job. You earned it, after all. Hmm. I wonder if we'll be able to make a replica of his head. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, huh? All right, let's get... Back to the dawn. Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Ah, home sweet home. Easiest job ever. Alright, I'm back. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? I live only to serve. Well, I did what had to be done, nothing more. Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, <laughs> you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. What's that? Is something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Okay, Astrid, you're being a bit paranoid. He talks to himself all the time. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. All right, what do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. All right. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Uh, but that seems so disrespectful. <laughs> Be that as it may, you have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. All right. I'm almost level 53. Whispers in the dark. Any idea who would uh, conspire with Cicero? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door... And the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. 
Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? Hmm. The very thought breaks my heart. Alright, is there anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. Okay. What do you think Cicero's planning? Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim. The queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. All right. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. But I have a quest to turn in. Where is she? I heard about what happened. You're referring to that blacksmith contract? It was a suicide mission. Astrid said as much. There she is. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. Sit this whisper be upon you, brother. You give me too much All right, sister. All right, I found your tools. Oh, let me look. All, yes. Girl. You can't what imagine the memories these possibly. bring up. Time for me to paint again, finally. Finally? Paint with these? Yes, assassin paint. I'm sure I don't have to explain. All right, and what about the ba black door, the password? I'll speak with Astrid. Thanks to you, I might be able to paint as a new black door. It will take time, though. This is difficult magic. Okay. Well, I see the door is in good hands now. Thank you, my dear. I knew I could count on you. Come see me in a few days. I'll have something for you. She hugged me, then lorded over me. What is going on? All right, ring to tool, wait for Gabriella's gift. All right. She's a hugger. All right, let's oh, go that's hide. too much of an obsession these days with knives and arrows. You could kill someone just as easily with a well-placed spell. I could kill a person with my pinky. All right, where is this tomb? I know I'm close. There it is. Hello, mother! Oh, I gotta pick the lock. Wow, so pretty. Okay. So now what? Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes. Alone. <laughs> Sweet solitude. No one will hear us. Disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> the others. I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Nothing! I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. No bays. <laughs> you will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Oh. Dear Cicero, such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, my. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you 
other one. Yes, Naturally. You. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? Treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! <laughs> you have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! <laughs> so dramatic. Speak, worm! <laughs> the Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! I am the listener. And there is no <laughs> listener! <laughs> well, you can't uh, argue with that logic. Wait, she said to tell you, darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that? Yes. She said those words? Yes. To you? Yes. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yes. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet <laughs> Cicero. Then it's true. He's so happy. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy day. My sickness, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's it's the accomplice? Fine. Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? Yeah. What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. <laughs> when I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true, and my mother really did speak to me. She said, I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? It does appear And the that Night way. Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. You're pretty smart. To you? Indeed. Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? That I'm the one! I must speak to someone named Armand Montier in Volenrund. Armand Montier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrund, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So I should go to Volenrund. I should talk to this man. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. 
I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> nice. Okay, Cicero, do you want to be the listener? Did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. Aww. The silence became almost... maddening. Mm. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. <laughs> That's good. What can you tell me about... Did I have this option before? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> you are the listener. You heard the words. And everything will soon be put right. Alrighty. Love the optimism, pal. Will the Night Mother speak to me again? <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's <laughs> leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. So jealous. And what exactly does a listener do? Oh, the listener... well... Listens. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood in <gasps> <laughs> I love this guy. This guy's awesome. <laughs> Are you excited? So excited. Oh, you should be. <laughs> Things are finally looking up. That's pretty cool. All right, friends. I'm going to end the episode there. We made some decent headway into the Dark Brotherhood. Got to meet everybody. This is really cool. Looking forward to uh, uh, plunging headlong into this. It's going to be great. So, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next video.